XRP could reach $6.40 soon if history repeats itself. XRP reached its all-time high value after it surpassed the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, Ethereum. So it won't be odd when we say that XRP will reach the market cap of Ethereum because it has already happened once. A new prediction is here that says XRP will now double in price of its all-time high value when it will again surpass the market capitalization of Ethereum. Hey guys, and welcome back to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where we give you information about investing in crypto. Please like and subscribe if you are new here to get everything you need to know about cryptocurrencies. In today's video, you will know about the all-time high value of XRP when it surpassed the market cap of Ethereum, what is the market capitalization of XRP and Ethereum, and how it fell in the past cryptocurrency down days, how XRP will reach its previous all-time high market capitalization due to its adoption. Finally, you will know that when and how will XRP reach the $6.40 mark if history repeats itself. So, let's start our video. XRP to all-time high surpassing Ethereum XRP enthusiasts are those who are into XRP for long. Remember that was a time when Ripple XRP surged to nearly an all-time high value and surpassed the world's second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization and gained itself the highest ranking ever. In December 2017, XRP had climbed 56% and became the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. Market capitalization refers to the total dollar market value of the company's outstanding shares of stock. Commonly referred to as a market cap, it is calculated by multiplying the total number of companies outstanding shares by the current market price of one share. Market capitalization refers to how much a company is worth as determined by the stock market. At that time, Ripple XRP climbed 55.9% to a record high of $2.23 on the 29th of December of 2017, according to CoinMarketCap. The digital currency had a market cap of $86.3 billion, and it surpassed the market cap of Ethereum's $73 billion. Before that, the two cryptocurrencies vied for the second place spot as prices fluctuated earlier that day. According to the charts, Ripple had climbed over Ethereum earlier that year, but back then it was only worth about 36 cents. It was less than a cent in 2016 and rose to a dollar the next year and topped the charts at the end of the year, replacing Ethereum in the market capitalization. Ripple was up more than 34,700% that year. While Ethereum rose about 2% to $753.57 that day, with a market cap of about $72.8 billion, when Ripple XRP crossed the market cap of Ethereum, its price became $2.23, and as the company owns 61% of the 100 billion XRP in existence, 2017's record high price gave Ripple about $136 billion worth of digital currency. Market Capitalization of XRP and Ethereum The past few weeks have been rough for digital currencies. The value started the down path first when the billionaire Tesla CEO, Elon Musk, tweeted that the vehicle company won't accept Bitcoin for a car purchase because of its huge energy consumption, and they are looking for some other digital currencies with less than 1% energy consumption. Soon after that, the digital market started to tremble, and the value fell to the lowest in quite some time. Just after some days of Musk's tweet, the Chinese Banking Association website said that financial institutions should resolutely refrain from providing services using digital currencies because of their volatility. And China isn't the only country clamping down on cryptocurrencies. Many banks in the Middle East are also barred from dealing in Bitcoin, while U.S. regulators appear to be leaning toward more actively monitoring cryptocurrencies. The market tumbled but slowly stood back up on its feet. As of the time of writing, Ethereum tumbled by 12.07%, following a 4.98% decline the previous day. Ethereum ended the day at $2,413.81. A mixed start to the day saw Ethereum rise to an early morning intraday high $2,762.91 before hitting reverse, falling short of the first major resistance level at $2,880. Ethereum slid to a late intraday low of $2,329.20. Ethereum fell through the 38.2% FIB of $2,740 and the first major support level at $2,720. The extended sell-off also saw Ethereum fall through the second major support level at $2,505 to end the day at a $2,400 level. At the time of writing, Ethereum was down 0.25% to $2,407.84. 
a mixed start to the day saw Ethereum fall to an early morning low of $2,396.20 before rising to a high of $2,434.53. Ethereum left the major support and resistance levels untested early on. The current market cap of Ethereum is $299 trillion US dollars, while XRP's market cap is $46 billion. Ripple to reach new highs through its adoption. In an article published on the Independent Republic around three years ago, it was said that Ripple has been on the rise since December high, leaping from 4% to a total market cap to above 9%. One of the Ripple's goals for 2018 was overcoming ETH for the second highest market capitalization, and it did. However, if XRP continues its present rate of adoption in the financial services world, with MoneyGram just being the first of several large companies to endorse the cryptocurrency, it's not hard to imagine Ripple overtaking Bitcoin for the top spot. But now, everyone knows that the adoption of XRP is exploding. Even though MoneyGram has ended its partnership with Ripple, but many other largest financial institutions have adopted it has been revealed that the high net worth investors are allocating more funds for the digital asset XRP. The online publication The Daily Hodl notes that in its new Digital Assets Fund Flows report, Digital Asset Manager CoinShares said that the digital asset is now the top rising altcoin among its institutional investors. The report shared that $33 million has been invested in the fourth largest cryptocurrency over the past week. This has increased the coin's year-to-date inflows to $38.9 million. The firm now manages $83 million in XRP assets. Another company also breached $64 billion in assets under management for the first time as last week's inflows for all digital assets reached $233 million. That is the highest since March. It's been revealed not too long ago that XRP use cases are about to explode. The OneChain team is a blockchain interoperability platform that announced that now XRP token holders can put their XRP to work and engage with the world's many DeFi applications. As the online publication Crypto Globe notes, that this makes sense when you consider that the goal of OnChain is to connect the world's many isolated blockchains. While Ripple's XRP token has not been directly affected just yet, everything is slowly coming together to massively impact the adoption of XRP. With institutions such as World Bank, World Economic Forum, IMF, and EU Commission on board and actively working with Ripple, XRP is seemingly unstoppable. There is no barrier to XRP being used as a means of small cap exchange just because Ripple the company is targeting the banking industry. Commerce is what the market creates and the medium of exchange is just a solution of utility. If XRP offers speed, security, and negotiable fees along with a stable currency, its potential is only limited by imagination. XRP to $6.40 by repeating the history. XRP was stable from its launch in 2013 until early 2017, when the sideways movement ended. By the end of 2017, its price skyrocketed by 35,000%. This success occurred as Ripple managed to achieve a threshold of 100 banks worldwide that signed onto the RippleNet. On January 4, 2018, the XRP USD rate reached an all-time high. However, it couldn't sustain those levels, and it subsequently dropped by 76% within a month. The plummet was caused by fears of new regulations on the Asian markets. This factor affected not only XRP, but also other cryptos. In 2018, the total market cap for cryptocurrencies declined by about 43%. According to the Changely platform, XRP price has a strong correlation with the whole cryptocurrency market. It means that if Bitcoin or other altcoins will grow, then Ripple is likely to reach the previous all-time high point of $3.84. This is a very optimistic scenario. If the SEC wins the lawsuit, the XRP price will fall down to a couple of cents. After the SEC lawsuit is over and Ripple will get out as the victorious ones, XRP will be relisted and more financial institutions will adopt it. The SEC is going to prove game-changing for Ripple. The more the investors will invest, the more will be the market cap of XRP and it will reach and surpass the market cap of Ethereum as it did in 2017. XRP raised to an all-time high, and now, when it will reach the market cap of Ethereum, its value will increase to $6.40. According to the coin market cap, at the time of writing, the XRP price today is $1.03 USD, with a 24-hour trading volume of $6.5 billion USD. XRP is up 15.20% in the last 24 hours. 
The current coin market cap ranking is number six, with a live market cap of $47.5 billion USD. It has a circulating supply of 46 billion XRP coins and a max supply of 100 billion XRP coins. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. What do you think? Will XRP again reach the all-time high by surpassing Ethereum's market capitalization? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to click the bell icon. And thanks for watching.